Hi everybody. So if you follow me on social media, you've seen this already. I was directly inspired by not only the Liquitex muted ink colors that just came out, and I just did a video on those that you'll probably have seen shortly before this, um, where I demo those. Um, they have these new muted colors, and they have a violet, a turquoise, um, a pink, a gray, and a green. And I was really I got them, and I really love I love them. I'll show you a swatch. And I don't know, there's something about the muted kind of earthy colors of this. And while I was noticing these on the internet, I also noticed that there's an Etsy store um, whose name I can't <laughs> can't remember at the moment. I remembered it last night. Now I can't remember. Um, I will find them though and link them in the description below, and link them. And the two. Liquitex and this Etsy shop have something in common. So the uh, Etsy shop makes handmade watercolor paints. And the thing they have in common are these muted earthy colors. And I was really attracted to them and intrigued by that. And I thought, hmm, it would be really fun to have a, just a muted earthy palette that it would be in a small pocket box that I could take with me. Like say the next time we go to Las Vegas, I like to do desert paintings and I'm frequently like mixing colors because I don't really have the quite tone quite right tones. It would be nice to have a muted earthy palette to take with me instead of my regular one. That would be fun. So I got some of my Daniel Smith paints together, replaced a few that I didn't, um, that I needed to, um, got a couple of new colors, and I put together this fun muted earthy palette uh, full of these colors right here. And I literally just did it last night so the paint, paints have not fully dried in the palette yet. They're still damp. But I wanted to come on and share it with you and also talk about the colors I chose. So the first one I chose was Buff Titanium, um, which is an, kind of an opaque color, um, but it's a, an opaque, like creamy, um, you know, beigey color that, would, that I really wanted to um, have in the palette. And this is one I already had in my stash anyway that I use every now and then. Then we have French Ochre which is a yellowy golden color, which is this one. And then raw sienna. I'm gonna list all these names in the description below because I'm, um, so that way if, if you guys want to um, collect any of these for your collection, you can. Also, I happen to know I'm gonna butcher a couple of the names because I can't pronounce them, I know I can't. Uh, raw umber, which is this more brown tone. Then we have one of my favorite Daniel Smith colors, Kodakrodone Gold. Roasted French ochre, which is uh, more of a red shade than the other French ochre. This one's more of the yellow. This is more of a red. Again, we're going for muted and earthy. Um, undersea green, which is one of the new colors that I, I've seen. Um, I think Vicki Ross has it in her palette, and I saw it over there, and I was like, ooh, I like that color, but there's no room on my palette. But see, I created this one, and now, and now it fits in perfect. I think that on Watercolor Wednesday, that we are going to do maybe a still life or something with these colors. I'm really attracted to them. All right, next one, um, ultramarine turquoise. I can't do a palette without a turquoise in there. Burnt umber. Um, here's one I'm gonna have trouble. Naphthamide maroon, which is this one here, which again is a muted, dusty, almost dirty color maroon, which I love. Uh, permanent brown, which again is more of a muted red tone. Let's see. Permanent brown. Um, oh, here's one that's going to be a problem. Anthraquinoid red. Pretty sure that's not spelled, that's not pronounced correctly. But it's this beautiful muted red color. Van Dyke brown, which is my dark. Instead of having even Payne's gray or black, this is the dark, and I could mix this with, say, the purple. Um, and or the quadrocrinone gold or something. I could get make it darker by mix it with the other colors in the palette. And then Prussian blue, uh, which is um, a nice kind of muted blue. So these are um, the colors that are going to be in this palette. Like I said, we're going to work on them, uh, work with them. In an upcoming watercolor Wednesday, we'll be doing probably a still life, maybe fruit or something. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's an interesting take on a watercolor palette. So if you have a collection of watercolor paints like I do, this would be a fun palette to maybe put together. Um, I did take, this is one of the Prima boxes, and I did take the insert before I put the, now I can't get it out. <laughs> before I put the paints in, 
took the insert and I spray painted it front and back so there's no bare metal on it so there's no chance of things rusting. Um, these um, inserts are frequently bare metal and if you get them too wet then they start rusting so take it and have somebody enamel it for you or take it outside with some enamel spray paint and do it yourself. Um, now I have trouble getting it back in because you know it doesn't want, there we go. Um, it's probably never going to come out again. I'm gonna, this is the first and last time I'll ever do that. So anyway, so that's just a quick tip for me, from me to you. All right, that's it for today. My new Daniel Smith uh, muted palette, which I love. And I can see even doing the still life with a combination of the muted palette and the metallic palette that I also did recently. So um, yeah, I'll be sharing more of these on Watercolor Wednesday coming up soon. So um, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little notifications bell so you are notified when I do um, put out new videos or am online live. That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and uh, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.